Yeah, those girls got off the ferry while I was driving taxi, and they said, you know Lee Singer, Mother Love Bone, where he's buried? I said, yeah, I know where he's buried. <laughs> I'm his brother. He was always a rock star, but in a sort of a fun way, you know what I mean? Over the top, just crazy. Back then, there was really no media attention at all, so nobody cared what you did if you were from Seattle, so there was no point in you worrying about what they thought. Oh, you knew we were getting there was talk of getting signed and so uh, I just kind of got swept away it was pretty wild but it was really cool to have that happen to your friend you know at the same time so you could just be excited together Adam Curry back with you for this week's Metal Detector. Last week, Seattle grunge rockers Mother Love Bone released their debut EP. All of a sudden, a record company telling us, like, you have a hundred and fifty or two hundred thousand dollar budget to make a record. And we're just like, wow, you know, like, why does it cost that much to make a record? You know, I mean, it was exciting. You know, we were young, and uh, the prospect of being able to support ourselves with music, I mean, that was the main thing for me. You know, there was a sense that something really amazing was happening, and there was an excitement about it, and the shows, were, there was definitely something going on. Over time, it would have evolved into a band that really had unlimited capabilities as far as reaching people. And as the the, the rock thing was being fulfilled in Mother Love One, he was not really into it. I think that there was elements of that that, you know, that had influence on his frustration level and maybe even his level of, you know, self-destructiveness, although I'm sure the seeds were laid. As things started to unfold, I, I figured it might have been that he had drug problems. He just hated himself. He hated himself using. And he knew very well what was going on. He had all the information. He knew how wrong that was. It's, it's sad, too, to, to, to not see somebody's will realize, you know, to, to to see such an amazingly talented person and to see it gone. He was a one of a kind. You know, you sort of, you don't know you need someone like that in your life because there isn't anyone else like that, so they sort of create that need. They, they teach you that there's that need there, and then when they go away, you're stuck with the need. That was like a dream, you know? You know, it's still, it's still like, hard to believe it even happened. Yeah. 